evening. This is Alan Ogden coming to you from beautiful Stanley Park uh, on behalf of Glutathione Authority and I have Harmony Whittington with me and tonight we're gonna, this evening we're gonna talk about hypnotherapy because um, there's a lot of confusion about it. Yeah. Uh, what it is, where it comes from, how does it work and so on. So um, what is hypnotherapy? That is an absolutely fantastic question. In fact a lot of people haven't even heard the word just like they haven't heard the word glutathione. Right. So it's, it's really um, important to educate people about that. So hypnotherapy really is a modality that's used to have direct, to get direct access to your subconscious mind so that you can take uh, any beliefs that aren't serving you, anything that might be getting in your way, and to be able to then release that and place something positive in that place that's actually going to drive things forward and get you to where you want to go. Wow. Okay. So that sounds really powerful. So is it safe? Yeah, that's, that's a fantastic question too. I do get asked, asked that a lot because a lot of people have seen uh, stage hypnosis and stuff right. like that where people are getting, you know, being made to do silly things and stuff. And I want you to understand that in a situation like that, um, it's actually somnambulists that they're getting their hands on, which is about 25% of the population. Um, they're incredibly easy to hypnotize and highly suggestible. Okay, so these are particular people, these ones that are... Somnambulists, okay. yeah, exactly. Right, okay. so, so we have somnambulists, we have physicals, and we have emotionals. Those are your suggestibility types. Okay. Um, so somnambulists are, are most definitely, they're a very small portion of the population. That being said, what a hypnotherapist's goal really is, is to actually help you to access the larger part of your mind to be able to have the power to do the things that you want to do. Because your mind is really, it's running your whole body for you. It's, it's shaping how you see the world and it's actually doing all sorts of things that you don't really want it to, like attracting you to a boyfriend that you don't want or situations that you don't want to be in. So you, you see yourself being out of power in a lot of situations or being put in situations and you're feeling like you don't have control. So what the hypnotherapist is doing is actually giving you access to that 88% of your mind to then take control to get what you want out of your life. So, so interesting because a lot of people, I've heard them talk about hypnotherapy as being like spirit worship or you know some kind of a spiritual experience where the person is taking control of you and mm. they can plant things in you and and I, I kind of understand that you can't put anything in my mind that I don't want to be there. I completely agree with you. It's actually quite fascinating because what, what I do as a hypnotherapist and what all hypnotherapists do is they actually will listen to the client in the session and what we do is we actually write down your own words when you're describing things and we actually learn the language of your subconscious mind because you're more suggestible to yourself than you are to me. Right. So when you're telling me about what it is that's going on for you, I would say something like, so what What would you do You know, in this situation? Like, what do you think is a good solution? And, and you'll actually give yourself the answer. Right. And then what I do is write it down in your own language. And then when I take you into hypnosis, I'll repeat your words because right. you're more suggestible to yourself. So when I repeat the words to you, speaking in your subconscious language, it then takes it right down to the subconscious level and is instilled. So you won't receive it unless you're allowing you're it. You're allowing it, yes. Exactly. Yeah, I, anyway, it's, it's interesting how people get all confused about that. But, Absolutely. Um, so I'm going to ask you why it's more effective than other modalities. I want you to answer that, but I, I just want you to know my interest in it is the fact that I've worked with a personal physician here in Vancouver who keeps a clinical hypnotherapist to deal with people who have chronic pain. So it's, it's, it's being accepted by the medical profession as being a modality that can be used. So why is it more effective than other modalities? So the reason that it's so incredibly effective is it's getting uh, allowing you access to the 88% of the mind that essentially is the larger portion of the mind housing all of the, the beliefs and, and what shapes your, your world, right? So if you're, let's just say you have you know an addiction to chocolate. How many women, you know, have that, right? And you feel powerless to, to you know, to say no to a piece of chocolate, you know, when it's I around, right? That. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And if you are finding that you're having it to the point where you're gaining weight and you, you know, it's uncontrollable and you know it's to your detriment and your critical mind is now aware of this and saying, no, I don't want it, but your subconscious mind is saying, yes, I do. Using a hypnotherapist to actually change the association to the chocolate, so I'll just give you a quick example. All a hypnotherapist has to do is say to you, well, how big, like what does the chocolate look like? 
where is it? Is it to the left? Is it to the right? Is it big? Is it small? Is it bright? Is it dark? You describe it and then you say to the person, think of something else that's just like chocolate. Well, we all know what that is, right? Yeah. Duty. Major duty. So if you, if you get the person to, again, explain, is it big? Is it small? Where is it? To the left? To the right? Is it bright? Is it dark? Is it, you know? Now I want you to take that duty and I want you to make it exactly the same shape and make it look just like the chocolate. Wow. Now that I want you to take to that duty and put it over here with the chocolate. And then you wake the person up and you ask them if they want chocolate. Yeah, I can I can see. So it's it it's gets, incredibly powerful. So it gets right to the root of the problem, it takes care of the problem, and it's their problem, it's their thoughts that are doing it, it's not the hypnotherapist control it. yeah yeah and and it's it's incredibly effective in the medical industry and in pain management and even in emergency medicine it's it, uh, it's actually used in the battlefield when somebody uh, gets injured you can do emergency hypnotherapy and you can in, like immediately induce somebody and relieve their pain in a situation where there's no medical help so wow. that they can actually cope um, in that situation until the doctors can get to them. So it's it's incredibly powerful. Yeah, I know it's, it's used in dental practice and it's yeah. used in other places as well. So anyway, well, thank you very much for explaining hypnotherapy to us. You're welcome. And uh, this is Alan Ogden from Glutathione Authority with Harmony Whittington. Have a wonderful evening. Bye for now. Bye.